Everyone knows what an explosion looks like, but an implosion feels a little more uncommon, but it's just as catastrophic, especially when it happens to a submersible craft deep within the ocean. In June 2023, the Ocean Gate Titan submersible headed down in the Atlantic to view the wreckage of the Titanic. According to a statement from the U.S. Coast Guard, all five people aboard the watercraft died in a catastrophic implosion. The statement came after fragments of the small underwater vessel were identified in a debris field discovered in the search area after the Titan lost contact with the surface. The Titanic wreck rests at an estimated 13,000 feet below the surface of the North Atlantic. At that depth, the water pressure is immense. Implosions of any kind occur when the air or water pressure outside an object is so much that it can no longer withstand the strain and collapses in on itself. According to Dr. Nikolai Rotterman from the University of Portsmouth, the pressure at a depth of more than 2 miles is over 5,500 pounds per square inch. At sea level, the pressure experienced in the atmosphere is less than three-tenths of a percent of that. The 2023 Titan disaster was not the first time in maritime history that a submarine or submersible imploded due to the intense water pressure bearing down on it. In 1963, the USS Thresher sank and eventually imploded some 450 feet below its test depth. All aboard the Thresher were killed. A submersible is a small craft that must operate with the assistance of a mothership, as opposed to a larger, fully autonomous submarine. Nevertheless, the principles of what might cause the implosion of each are much the same. Fragments of the Titan craft were found some 1,600 feet from the Titanic, and Coast Guard Rear Admiral John Mauger said what searchers discovered is consistent with a catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. At that depth, the Titan experienced 380 atmospheres of pressure. Dr. Nikolai Rotterman said of the Titan, if there was any kind of hull breach, the occupants would succumb to the ocean in a near instant. For some idea of what deep sea pressure might be like at such depths, Professor Blair Thornton from the University of Southampton compared it to the weight of the Eiffel Tower sitting directly on top of the vessel. In 2012, director James Cameron reached a depth of 33,000 feet in a solo vessel. He traveled to the bottom of the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean to a site known as Challenger Deep. In 2020, a Chinese team returned to the trench in a submersible called Fendushi, or Striver. Few humans have ever made a journey that far below the surface. In advance of James Cameron's dive, the Hollywood director said, You'd be an idiot not to be apprehensive, but I trust the design. And that design is very intentional. According to the Marine Bioconservation Society, the cylindrical design of subs and submersibles helps address water pressure issues. Submarines in particular are built with two holes. The inner pressure hole helps protect the sub from getting crushed and from the freezing temperatures, and the outer hole helps maintain the watercraft's shape. OceanGate co-founder Guillermo Solin, who left OceanGate years before the Titan tragedy, said that any failure on a submarine or submersible can cause an instantaneous implosion. It's an implosion at that depth probably would happen at almost supersonic speeds. Despite repeated concerns from those involved in the project, the Titan made several successful deep sea dives before the accident, reportedly traveling to the site of the Titanic two times without incident. However, Jasper Graham Jones, associate professor of mechanical and marine engineering at the University of Plymouth, told the Associated Press that returning to such depths may have caused what's called delamination in the hull, or a gradual splitting of the carbon fiber which partially comprised the hull of the Titan sub. The Titan was designed to withstand pressures of up to 4,000 meters, around 13,000 feet, and was equipped with a real-time hull monitoring system to detect any possible damage or strain. In the Coast Guard press conference announcing the Titan had imploded and all aboard were dead, Rear Admiral Mauger said it was unclear when, if ever, human remains might be recovered.